Hey, what's happening everybody? It's your old pal, Mr. Butter, coming back at you. Today, I want to get into a pair of kicks that I really wasn't sure about until I got them in hand. Now that I've seen them, I really, really like this pair. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at these Black Cement Jordan 1 Lows. Before these dropped, I really wasn't even sure if I was going to go for them or not. A lot of times I call it a game time decision. I really just didn't feel the highs too much. I don't know really what it was. I don't know if it was just too much of this elephant print. I don't know if it was because that was on like a white base, whereas these are on a black base. But the highs just weren't doing it for me. I didn't hang on to them. No shame in those, but for me personally, I just didn't really feel that pair too much. This box looks a lot like the box to the highs did, which I think is really cool looking, but this has white Nike branding, whereas the box for the highs had black Nike branding on it. But you can see it definitely matches the shoes. It's a pretty cool looking box. The tag reads Air Jordan 1 Retro Low OG. The colors are black, muslin, tech gray, and white. Retail on these was 140 US dollars. I got these directly from sneakers. They didn't have these at finish line. I'm not sure if they dropped these at a bunch of retailers or not, but it was a pretty easy W on sneakers and there's still a lot of sizes sitting. I also saw at some like boutiques and that sort of thing, they still have some sizes of these left. So I think you can still get these even if you didn't grab them initially, and you might even be able to grab them for retail. If you can't get them for retail, I don't think prices are too crazy at the moment. But enough of the box and that kind of talk. I think these are awesome. I really like them. And like I already said, I don't know if it's just because the highs had too much elephant print. I think this black new buck on the base complements this elephant print way better than the white leather did on the pair of highs that we saw not long ago. Along with liking the way that they look, I also really like the materials that they used. And honestly, whenever I first saw this black new buck and felt it, and then I saw the nice thick leather cuts that they had for the swoosh and everything, it really reminded me immediately of another pair that I got not too long ago. Most of y'all probably know what this is, but once again, we have a black new buck base on this shoe and the white leather on top of this is really, really nice. Now, I'm not suggesting that these black cement Jordan 1 lows are quite as premium as what these Travis Scott olives are. However, this is the first thing that came to mind whenever I got this shoe in hand. And really, this is one of those shoes that almost feels like it could have been a collab or something like that. It just feels like they did these right. A lot of times you get a pair of Jordan 1s or really any retro Jordans and you just think, what the heck did I just waste my money on? But in this case, these materials are really, really decent and the craftsmanship on here is really good like i haven't found too much fault i did see in some areas there's a little bit of glue right near the midsole but not enough to turn me off but really that glue isn't anything extreme and it's not enough that anyone would ever notice it it really doesn't bother me at all overall my initial thought of these i'm just impressed like i i really think that i'll throw these into the rotation pretty soon but obviously again I'm not saying that they have quality this good, but it's not far from it at all. And for the $140 price point, I think the Jordan brand did these pretty well. Before I forget to mention, these did come with black flat laces already in the shoe, but we also got a box of shoelaces in a gray color. Looks like the gray matches that elephant print pretty good. Getting into the review, we have a standard Jordan 1 tread pattern. It's a nice gray color on the outsole, pivot point in the front, Nike branding at the midfoot, but it's the same tread pattern that we always see on Jordan 1s, nothing out of the ordinary there. Then as we come up the shoe, we can see that our midsole is like a sail, or I guess that's the muslin color, but it's just like an off-white 
almost like a vintage kind of hue to it but i really like the way that it complements the gray and the black on this shoe i think it looks cool then as we come up to the mug guard and really all the overlays aside from the swoosh is this nice gray elephant print material and i think that looks cool i think on this black base for some reason it really works whereas on the highs i just didn't think they flowed too well for some reason but i really like the way that the elephant print looks on these and ever since those cement jordan threes came out it's been a huge ordeal does the elephant print match for me looking at my pair i mean it matches just fine but i didn't have any issues with the threes either so somebody else might look at it and say oh that doesn't match at all but for my eyes and my taste i think it matches just fine on the heel tab we have more of that elephant print but in black stitching we have that jordan wings logo and i think that's pretty cool looking and for the swoosh i was really surprised we've got a really nice white leather on there it's just got a little bit of texture on it but it's a really thick cut. I don't know if you can get a good angle with that or not, but take my word for it if you can't tell. These swooshes, this is actually really decent leather. I was surprised by that. Then for the base, we just have this black kind of nubuck material. And like I said, this isn't as premium as what those Travis Scott Jordan 1 lows are, but it's not far from it. And I'm not mad at this at all for the $140 price point. You can see this black new buck here on the toe box where we have those perforations. And then you can also see it here on the side panels. But I really, I was surprised by that material. I think it's actually pretty decent. For our tongue, we just have a standard black nylon tongue. It's got black piping up along the edges. And then we have a black tag. And the Nike Air branding looks like it's kind of like an off-white or like a muslin color and that kind of matches the midsoles down here. I think that looks pretty cool the way it goes with the midsole. Then we've also got a black sock liner, and down on the insole, we have more Nike Air branding in that muslin color that we see on the tongue and on the midsole as well. But overall, I'm really, really pleased with this purchase. I didn't keep those white cement Jordan 1 highs, but these are definitely staying with me. I think this will be a pair that will be real easy to fit into the rotation this summer. And I'll probably be throwing these on feet before too long at all. I will probably just stay with the black laces that came in the shoe. I don't think I'll put those gray ones in. I heard some people saying that they put sail laces in and it looked really good. I bet sail does look really nice because it probably ties in that midsole even more. If you see these sitting for retail or even below retail and you're the least bit interested, I would say go ahead and grab them because this is one of those pairs that if the sneaker game wasn't all cooled off and everything, I think people would be going crazy for these. They definitely feel like they're better than the norm and I like how unique they are. Let me know what you all think about these. Let me know if you grabbed them or if you passed on them. I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out.